Hello everyone and welcome to Canteen Cup. My name is Scott. I was at a Viking meetup yesterday up in North Georgia and we were talking about what happens if things got bad and we were mainly talking about Atlanta and a comment was made that a lot of our cell service providers and, and a lot of our internet service providers, our ISPs, have main facilities in Atlanta and you know if Atlanta shuts down if it goes to anarchy whatever you want to call it uh, we could lose those services and that could include your cell service uh, we've had some spotty outages here of both internet and and cell and so you've got to be careful of that and so I want to talk about something that I bought years ago and that I'm revisiting you know today and that is and that is when I took a job up in Washington, D.C., I actually lived in Front Royal, Virginia, which is about 65 miles away, and I commuted in almost every day into Washington, D.C. For those of you that have been to D.C., have worked in D.C., know what a nightmare it is and what a worse nightmare it could become. Um, when things get kind of kind of janky or kind of hinky out there you know cell service goes and they, they have had blackouts and they have had uh, we've had uh, blocks shut down by the Secret Service and DC police we've had activism going on out there and so it's, it's not a very safe place and one of the things that we thought about while I was working in that town was what would happen if things got really really bad how would I number one get out and how would I communicate if our cell service if our internet went down and our solution was uh, back in the day this was made by DeLorme it's called an inReach and what this is this is a satellite messaging device and how it works you can't talk into it but you can send a message to an email you can send a message to a, a phone so while things in your immediate area may be bad hopefully where the recipient of your message is you can get something out saying I'm okay I'm here come get me when you send it when you send a message with this thing it also includes a map of where you are so that somebody can come get you if need be or if you need to get help or whatever they can do that but being able to send a message saying I'm okay or I'm still at the office when everything else around you is, is going to hell so to speak it's a, reassur it's a reassuring thing now my wife, a couple of years back, uh, went with her sister. They went over to France, to Paris, France, and they tooled around there. And I gave her this, and she took it with her. And then a couple times when she was over there, she sent me a message through this. This is a satellite. It goes up to the sky, telling me where she was and that she was having fun and everything was okay. And I was able to respond to her. So that was a good test. The caveat to this is well, number one you have to have a subscription and it's about twelve dollars a month uh, number two these aren't cheap they're about eh, I think they're about three hundred to four hundred dollars for a base model like this you can get one that's also a GPS with maps and such for about probably around six hundred bucks but it's still cheaper than a sat phone because they started at about a thousand and all you have to do with this is make sure you get out in the clear sky. It runs a little slow, but getting a message to your loved one that you're okay or that you're at a certain location, it's worth every penny. Like I said, my wife used it when she was in Europe, and it was nice to know that if things got bad over there, you know, while I couldn't jump in my truck to go help her, I can at least know where she is and know she's okay. So this is a good this is a good tool. Um, like I said, I just pull I pulled it out of retirement and I'm sticking it in my in my get home bag because if we do lose cell service, what do you do? Um, 
you know, I don't bring my amateur radio station with me everywhere I go because it's pretty big and bulky. But this I can stick in my pack. That weighs maybe four or five ounces. And it works. Twelve bucks a month, that's pretty cheap insurance. Um, the other thing I like about this is that it recharges using a, a micro USB port. And what's cool about that is that any thing you use to charge your cell phones these days can recharge this and it takes about an hour and so that's a bonus I, I keep lots of stuff in my get home bag to keep my phone alive and now I can also keep this alive. I don't have to carry extra batteries I just plug it into whatever I'm using to keep my phones charged and I'm good to go cheap insurance we are uh, definitely considering getting another one so each one of us has one my wife has one I have one in case we're separated you know that may happen she may be here at home and I may be a couple counties over or I may be in another part of the state and bad things happen and this may be the only way I can get to her and this may be the only way she can get to me and having that capability is very important being able to communicate I know we don't talk about communications a whole lot. We kind of stick that away in a corner. But, you know, having a good communications plan is important because there are times when those cell phones just aren't there. And you got to have something to contact somebody <laughs> to either come get you because you're, you know, you're shot up or tore up or broken or that you're just, you know, out in the middle of nowhere and need help. So think about it. These are now made by Garmin. I think it's I think it's the same thing. They just kind of changed the name. I think they even still call it InReach, but Garmin makes them, and the subscription service is 10, 12 bucks a month. Pretty cheap insurance. So something else for you to think about. Stay safe and stay secure. Stay well. We'll see you out there.